Hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya. Okay, everyone, let's do this. Three, two, one. Guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you to those who are returning as well. Today, I'm going to kick off this video by going down the road, going down the road, going down the road. Yes, guys, we'll be doing some walking. Today, I feel like going on the road, just do some walking. I also feel like doing, you know, some waist training as well. So I'm going to put on my waist trainer. Then you are going to come with me as we go down the road, go down the road. Go down the road, go down the road, go down the road, go down the road. So I've put on my waist trainer. All that is left is for me to put on my trainers. While I'm doing that, I should say as well, thank you so much, guys, for your patience as well. I know that I have been posting a lot. Um, well, last week, I should say, for two, I think it's two weeks, I have not posted on the usual days. So I'm saying thank you so much for your patience. Of course, these things take time and, you know, whenever I don't post, it means that something has happened, probably a bit busier for that week, etc. Because I do have a 9 to 5 as well, so, you know, things will happen, but it, it is my intention to get back on track. So, thank you so much for your patience. I should say as well, thank you so much because um, I can see that people have been viewing my, my older content. Oh, what is happening to my old shoes? Would you believe it that these trainers are about five years old? Oh, so the back has gotten so soft. That is why they are giving trouble. But you know what? They are my walking trainers, so that's not a problem whatsoever. I'll wear them until... I can't wear them anymore until I'm seeing holes in them because you know as I've said they are my walking trainers so no need to change them as yet all right trainers on I have my hoodie jacket would you believe that these this I actually did I did this in tribute to my homeland as well there was a time when I would you believe it that there was a time when I used to print things on um, what do you call them? On t-shirts and sell them. So that was a tribute to my homeland. So let's get everything ready. Yes. And now I think, oh, why is this thing so twisted? Couldn't you tell me that this thing is twisted? All right. Oh, now we are ready to go down there. Here I am walking. Oh my gosh. You could tell me my lips are so dry. Oh my gosh. My lips are so dry. But, anywho, the show must go on. So yes, this is me. I just want to show you just a bit of the walking. And of course, I know that with the traffic, it's hard for you to actually hear what I'm saying. But, oh my gosh. Oh. My dry lips, they're so distracting, but enough of me talking. I know that you're accustomed to seeing my face when it has makeup, without makeup. So, yeah, we must go on. You're accustomed to seeing me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the camera around so that you can take in a bit of the view as well. What I'm actually looking for is a bit of hill because I want to do just a little bit of running. I haven't done a running, you know, naturally 
in a long while outdoors so when I get to a point where you know I can see a bit of hill safely <laughs> I have to say safely on the on the where I can do it on the on the pavement then of course I'm going to get my bit of running in as well okay okay like you are telling me can run look at me trust me Passes runners have nothing on me. This is uphill, you know. So can you imagine if I was training? He tells me, you know, that I still have it in me. I can do it. I can do it. Don't try to test me. Hi guys, I'm back home, and of course, I have put on my uh, oh my chaplets. What? Yes, yeah, chapstick. So yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Lip all hydrated. But you know what? I still feel as if I could do something some more. I don't know if you've ever seen this. This is a hula hoop. So let me see what I can do. So yeah, so this one works the way it's like. Here we go. some more to go so yeah that's it Ooh, woo! all right what I'm going to do now I'm going to hold a shower first I have to cool off though I'm going to cool off hold a shower hold a fresh as I say in Jamaica all on a bed for money run go hold a fresh go hold a fresh go hold a fresh all right so I'm going to hold a fresh then I'm going to calm down I'm going to make breakfast and then we see what happens from there before I go, I thought I'd show you what's the effect of wearing um, waist trainer. Because I know that some people actually don't wear waist trainers. So let us see the effect. So remember I said that I was going to go out in my waist trainer. So let me take this off. Ooh. Don't worry, this is an old one <laughs> that I have here. You can see that the zipper is spoiled. But let's see the effect of wearing a waist trainer as opposed to not wearing a waist trainer when you exercise. And of course, I know that people are born naturally with certain shapes, right? Look at it. Can you see it? You probably won't see it because of the color of my top, but what the waist trainer does is that it causes this area to sweat a bit. Bear in mind that I say that, of course, I know that people are born with different shapes naturally. And of course, you know, it's hard for you to, to change your own shape naturally, but what I find is that it works in the midsection. Of course, for me, in saying this, you can see down here. Hmm, this is the part that I would change. But, of course, this is the result of me giving birth by C-section twice. So if there was anything that I should do to my body, perhaps it would be down here. But yes, this is the result of wearing waist trainer. You actually sweat in the middle section some more. It doesn't change your shape. What it does is it, it enhances the natural shape that you have. Okay, let me go now and hold a fresh. So we're all nice and fresh again. So let's go downstairs. Okay, so this is what I am having for my breakfast. Fried on plain, tin mackerel, and yeah, a little juice on the side over here to, you know, wash it down. So this is my breakfast. What are you having for your breakfast, people? So, of course, you know, I'm just going to do the do with my breakfast. I hope that you guys had a lovely breakfast. Jamaican breakfast. Always eat at the right spot. Breakfast 
is finished. I am stuffed. So all that is left for me to do what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to sit a bit in the summer house and then we will take it from there. So come with me to the summer house. Don't forget people that you should always take time for yourself. Go to your quiet place. Of course, this summer house, you know, people like to say it's a man cave. Trust me, it's no man cave around here, right? It is where everybody can come when you want to have a quiet place. Whoever wants to have a quiet time, then of course they can come and have a quiet time. I actually got a parcel from, I know it sounds a bit echoey, just bear with me. I got a parcel from thing.com so let us see what it is we we'll have a look at the parcel then we we'll see what it is so this is you know with the months changing going into the colder months of course you can see what I'm wearing already so this that I got from pretty little thing it is let me see what it is called that because you know I like to give a proper name it's the gray looks rib knit wide leg trousers right so there you go that's the bottom and it's a cord so when the months change of course I know that I can be cozy when I am inside so this is what the top looks like and think but yeah that's it this is me in my quiet place all I will need to do is to listen to some podcasts and make myself comfortable. Thank you so much guys for always being there for me. And of course you know that we all need each other. So you know, until I upload another video, this is me in my quiet place, taking it easy, listening to some podcast. Let me make myself comfortable. Until I upload another video, my family.